All right, uh, my, this is my first attempt uh, in going FPV. Uh, I've got a first generation uh, DJI Phantom quadcopter, and I love flying it. I love you know having my GoPro strapped to it, but I'm flying blind, and I'm realizing that as nice as some of my videos are coming out, I would benefit greatly from actually seeing what I am, you know, what the drone is seeing as I fly and record. So I got the Kumba Cam. And after peering through endless articles and figuring out, you know, which one is the best bang for the buck, so on and so forth, this is what I came up with. Um, I have an existing GoPro. I have a GoPro 4, no, 3 Plus Black. And what I like about this one, this will leverage the what, what the GoPro is recording and feed this back over to an LCD monitor that will be strapped to the controller. So, all right, enough talking, who cares? Let's look at what this comes with. Mind you, this is brand new, I just took it out of the box. I have not set this up, so we're gonna open this up together. What you see is how I got this, okay? <clears throat> all right, so let's see what we have here. Inside here, we've got the, it's an interesting way to pack things. Okay, things are falling already. We have the seven inch monitor, and that will eventually uh, buckle down into or onto the controller. Some business cards flew out of here. And there's the latch that will go from on the controller into the back of this and then onto the actual controller. We'll get to that later on. Alright, it's all pretty self-explanatory. I presume it's a battery. I'm going to look at this later on. It's a charging mechanism. Probably for the monitor. Uh, da -da -da. Let's see, a car charger if I'm on the go and I want to charge. It's pretty convenient. This is the transmitter, so this will be on the Phantom somehow, somewhere, and here's the antenna for it. Uh, this guy will plug into the uh, balancing cable, I presume, and then this guy will go into the GoPro on the side. I'm just thinking to myself how I'm going to get this powered, but I may have to make a cable for it. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. And that's essentially it. Let's pop this guy open and see what's in here. I don't like just ripping into boxes. I like to open up the right way. But there we go. Ah, there's more cables. Let's see. What, oh, here we go. Cool. That answers the question. Then how are we going to use this? A bunch of adapters. And then here is the battery. Okay, so we get the standard Phantom controller. Uh, again, this is a uh, Series 1, but I think the controller is essentially the same. Off, very important. I'm not going to turn this on. Um, just kind of looking th through this. I've never done one of these before. This monitor will ratchet into this somehow. And if I understand correctly, this guy is going to sit basically up here allowing me to see what the GoPro is recording. So let's see if we can figure that all out. All right, so this took me a second, but it's pretty clever how this works. So this guy right here, see if I can get a proper focus on it. This guy right here, there is a supplied Allen key, and we're gonna use that Allen key to back this little Allen screw off. Okay, and essentially what that's gonna do is open this up, it looks like, and that will allow me to slip that over. I hope I'm doing this right. There we go, there's a screw. And I believe this guy is gonna slip over. No, I'm wrong about that. I'm wrong about that. Okay. Okay, so this guy is gonna sit like this and the monitor will attach up here, okay? Let um, me back up a little bit, and let's see if we can elegantly get this on. This guy, this little, this little lock piece will slip into this hole here, and then ultimately the screw will go in there and lock it all in place. And that makes a lot of sense. Cool. Okay, so I got the bracket in place. Um, I basically have it, you've got the your uh, little lock nut down here, it slides through the opening and just one little screw uses a supplied Allen key, which is this guy right here, and clamp it all down. So with this guy on there now, I'm able to lock 
the monitor in place. So why don't we work on that? All right, so this is fairly easy. Uh, this guy just screws right out. Let me try not to drop it. It will come from underneath. I'm gonna try to do is stop blocking the camera. Apology. Okay, it's a little bit better. And we're just gonna screw it all in place and make it nice. Uh, let me try to do this in a way where you guys can see it. All right, and this is. Let's go back. All right, that's pretty much what we're looking at here. Uh, at the end of the day, we'll have the one antenna on top for the monitor, and. Uh, when we're holding it, this is what we're going to have. Alright, so here we go. Moment of truth. Uh, we're going to fire this thing up for the first time. Nothing is wired in, so we're just going to do a dry run. It's not hooked to the drone, obviously. I haven't even figured out where I'm going to actually properly place this stuff. Um, but here we go. So, first things first. Let's get our power. Let's see, looks like it only goes in one way. Okay. And we have light. So it says it's on channel 8. I'll just leave it there for default. Um, okay, that should be it for that. Let's fire the monitor up. There's a switch on the back. I've got a green, a red light, so this looks like it comes pre-charged. Let's get the power button going. There we go. We've got this play. All right, now let's hook the GoPro up. All right, and on the GoPro, let's see if I can get that right. Basically, you're gonna take this, um, let's see if I can focus that correctly. There we go. So you're gonna take the cable it comes supplied with, and it's got a 90 degree angle bend, and it's gonna go right into the USB port, like so. All right, and that's important because that's gonna allow me to keep this in my gimbal all right, because the end of the gimbal comes right up here. All right, so you'll have space. There'll be no space constraints for the wires. Turn the GoPro on. Oh, look at that! And we've got display on the monitor. Okay, very cool. It's not super high def by any means, but that's okay. This is going to allow me to see what's going on. Oh, that's pretty funky. Look at that. I'm liking that. Alright, so a few people have asked me in the past how I have set up my pocket battery reader um, and wired it into my battery and maintained connection for my gimbal. Um, really easy actually. So it's your basic balancing cable here. And what I did was I tapped into the positive negative and cut this into for the, uh, the harness here for the gimbal. So basically you have the gimbal. Well, let's, let's go backwards here. I have a three cell LiPo in the drone right now. Outside the, ba uh, the balancing cable, you have your standard balancing adapter to plug into here. But if you look really careful, all right, excuse the not professional soldering job here, but I basically soldered, oops, let me see if I could, so that looks better. Uh, I basically tapped in the positive to the battery alarm buzzer and the negative into the balancing cable. Okay, and then from there it continues off and goes into. Da, 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 da. Where does it go off into? It goes into this guy, right into the battery. What I'm eventually going to do now is I'm putting in my FPV kit, and I will do the same thing. I've already cut the positive and negative okay off the connector I don't want to use the battery that this thing came with so I'm going to attempt to tap into the existing splice and then wrap it up neatly and then clean up the wires I want to do this because I don't want the extra weight on the Phantom and um, I just it's just too cumbersome having all the cables and everything running around so once this is all said and done and I test it out and I see that it works I'm going to wrap everything up nice and neat and then tuck it up within the fold of the extended landing gear here. So we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so to give you a better understanding how this all works, we've got the battery buzzer here. I've got the, fan, uh, the GoPro inside the, the brushless gimbal. And if you notice, really carefully tucked in the pocket right back here, you'll see I've already got the FPV cable plugged into the GoPro. All right, so we're gonna just do, kind of do a test run 
to see cable placement and how this all measures out. Um, basically, I've already got a battery in here. I'm just going to balancing cable up. So we see this works, and I can see the gimbal is booting up. Just make sure there's no clearance issues here. Cool. And gimbal's working the way it's supposed to. That's staying steady. Awesome. All right, we'll continue to the next step, which is to wire in the positive negative and tap it into that lead and clean up the wiring harness, but we'll test it out first. Okay, so if you notice carefully, I've got a very crude mock-up here of how this is all gonna play out. I've got my positive wrapped into this open positive lead and my negative wrapped into this open negative lead. All right, and we've got the transmitter right here on this side, let me just pan back a little bit, there we go. And so what we basically have to summarize everything is off the three cell LiPo, off the balancing lead, it's going to power three things. The battery tester, the voltage alarm I should say, the gimbal, and ultimately the, the uh, transmitter. So I'm gonna plug this in and make sure, this is all, oh there we go. So. We've got battery, transmitter is powered up, and there goes the gimbal. So the next challenge is to get all this wiring hidden, concealed, and wrapped up nicely. Okay, so at the end of the day, this is what we've got. I've cleaned up my wires here, and I pulled as much slack out as possible. Um, certain things are just inevitable. These cables here for the gimbal, I can't tighten them up too much because the gimbal you know, it has to be able to move freely. So it is what it is. I might be able to kind of get creative and pin some of this up here. I don't know, I can figure it out. Once it's up in the air, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm quite confident this setup will work just well, uh, just fine. So when we plug in the balancing cable, oh, just to show the back of this, I've got, if I can show it that way, uh, underneath, right behind the gimbal, let me turn this around, right behind the gimbal, that's where I've got the, uh, the transmitter. And I've got the antenna facing down. Uh, no obstructions here, um, no clearance issues. So what we'll do is let's fire this up. All right, so here's the regular balancing lead that comes off the LiPo. And we have the balancing cartridge here. And there we go, we've got the voltage test is working. Gimbal, 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 gimbal. Good. Gimbal fires up. And I'm looking in the back. And sure enough, you can see the red glow off my finger. The transmitter is working. The ultimate test now is to fire this all up with the actual uh, monitor and see if we get a proper feed. All right, here we go, final test. <clears throat> Uh, GoPro is powered on, and let's go ahead and plug this in for the last time, and let's get the monitor on. Okay, that's a good sign. There we go. So we're actually looking at the camera, <laughs> looking at the GoPro, looking back at you on the monitor. I gotta tighten this monitor up, that's way too loose. But that's it. So as the GoPro, as the Phantom is flying, and I'm kicking everything over, basically this is what we are to see or expect. Notice how smooth everything is because of the gimbal. And I'm simulating flying around in the basement. Crashing into the Barbie dream house. And there we go. So this looks like it's going to work out quite well. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll gladly answer them for you. And uh, happy flying.